let's get started with this episode of Anime Nyan. Hello, Anime Nyan here. So today, I'm asking the question, why is watching anime such a niche hobby? Wait, wait, wait. But before I can answer that question, I think I need to prove something first. That anime is a niche hobby in the first place. Well, if you're watching this episode, you're likely an anime fan like me. And to you and me, this cannot all at all seem the case. I mean, almost everyone you know watches anime and reads manga. How can watching anime be a niche hobby when everyone you know does exactly that? You see, anime fans like you and me, we surround ourselves with others who share our tastes. It's in human nature. People who share common interests band together. And correspondingly, anime fans will surround themselves with others. And these people who, who also love anime. So because you like anime and manga, your friends and those you are close to are likely also to like anime and manga. So if we can't rely on our own experiences to make accurate inferences, how would I be able to prove that watching anime is really a niche hobby? Well, I want to turn to the cold, hard statistics to assist with my case. In order to answer this question, let's take a look at the earnings of the highest earning anime movies of all time and compare them to their vast competitor in their industry, Hollywood. I know this isn't the most accurate way of doing it because I'm only looking at the highest earning movies of all time. Also, earnings don't directly translate to anime or Hollywood's overall popularity, but it's going to give us a general idea, while not being an impractical task. So one more thing, this needs to take an important thing into consideration, which is inflation into account. For those who need a quick refresher, inflation is the idea that currency and money, the value of it, decreases over time. So pretty much one USD in 1913 is worth $24.92 USD in 2017. And you might ask yourself, what difference does this even make to our overall discussion? Well, it's kind of like comparing 2.4 kilometers to 2.6 miles. You can't say which one is bigger and by how much exactly, unless they're in the same units, or in the case of movie earnings, in the same year. So let's start with the highest grossing anime film of all time. Adjusted for inflation, of course. Drum roll, please. It is Spirited Away, whose value is adjusted to 2017, was 402 million, 878,083 dollars and 80 cents. If you were expecting Kimi no Nawa slash your name, it's actually not. So all the news about Kimi no Nawa being the highest grossing anime of all time, even eclipsing Miyazaki's greatest masterpiece, Spirited Away, is actually wrong. This is because although it's the most grossing anime film of all time, that is only when inflation hasn't been taken into account. And like I said earlier, you cannot compare films from different years without adjusting them for inflation. You just can't. Now, let's compare that to the top grossing movie from Hollywood adjusted for inflation, which is Gone with the Wind. Gone with the Wind earned approximately 3 billion 440 million US dollars, knocking Spirited Away straight back to the spirit world. To give you an idea, Gone with the Wind earned eight times as much, and when you're talking about numbers as large as hundreds of millions that is in the movies, the movie earnings, it is truly a killing. 
But maybe that's unfair. It might have just been a lucky fluke, right? So let's compare Spirited Away, the top grossing anime movie of all time, and the other top 10 grossing movies from Hollywood adjusted for inflation. Well, Avatar earned 3 billion and 20 million US dollars. Star Wars, 2 billion, 825 million. Titanic, 2 million, uh, 2 billion, sorry, 2 billion, 516 million. The Sound of Music, 2 billion, 336 million. E.T., 2, mil 2 billion, 310 million. As you can see, Hollywood crushes, crushes anime in every respect. Even the number 10 most grossing movie of all time from Hollywood, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, absolutely tramples Spirited Away, earning 4.5 times as much. When you're looking at a movie audience, the fact is that anime is really a niche proportion. Now, that does not mean in any way that anime is not wonderful and spectacular, just that the community is small. Now you may have noticed that I didn't cover anime series, and that's because they earn much less than anime movies, and I mean below 100 million US dollars. And if anything, they just show that anime is even more niche than what Spirited Away shows. Don't get me wrong, anime is at its peak time right now, with the critical acclaim surrounding the 2016 release of Kimi no Nawa, or Your Name, cementing itself as a milestone in the global community at how far anime has come. This has allowed many people who would never have heard of the word anime to gain a glimpse into the world of anime and manga. And it's just continuing to ex explosively expand. But just keep in mind, anime is just a drop in the bucket when compared to Hollywood. Even in the birthplace of anime, Japan, anime and manga is still pretty niche. Just looking at the gross movie earnings, only in Japan, adjusted for inflation, yes, the top Growth grossing movie of all time is an anime movie, Spirited Away, earning $314,818,054.54, but Titanic follows closely behind, with $309 million, Frozen earns the next most, $263 million, followed by Kimi no Nawa, Your Name, which earned Two hundred forty-two thousand four hundred twenty thousand nine hundred and six dollars and forty-three cents. The point is, anime is niche in Japan to the point that you actually see that people in Japan have a greater knowledge of movies from Hollywood and American films rather than anime films made in their own country. Now we can see that anime is niche at least compared to Hollywood. But what are the reasons behind it? Why? First reason, film as opposed to animation has had a longer history and more people working with media. The first anime movie was Hatsudo Shanshin, which is thought to be made as early as 1907. The first surviving film was made in 1888 called Round Hei garden scene. As a result, Hollywood films are more popular with audiences because they simply have been around for longer and people just know it more than anime. To make anime is extremely difficult and the people behind the shows that we watch are often chronically underpaid and don't have the budget at all to create the content they envision. Instead, they are forced to make shows which advertise a product or which rigidly stick to tropes and overused cliches. And all this just means that the audience for anime is further reduced. 
And this is a cycle. As the more popular you are with the audience, in the case of movies, the more money you have to invest, or you can, you can invest, further into that content. And this is what happened with Hollywood films, becoming the new sensation. So this leads to my second reason. Hollywood films have more resources to work with. Resources as in money, but also human resources as in people with the skills to make great content. However, resources also means technology. As films have seen so much investment, time, experience and money, more efficient and better ways of doing things have arisen, such as the Red Weapon camera, which shoots at 8K, Newman microphones, and Newman microphones, which Hollywood filmmakers on multi-million dollar budgets can use. Experience as in the fact that there are dedicated film schools and communities dedica dedicated to traditional Hollywood style filming shows. Shows or it shows how large of an influence Hollywood has. Not that anime doesn't have such communities, but it's just smaller. This gives the anime or the Hollywood film industry a distinctive advantage against anime. There's better technology adapted to the average filmmaker to streamline their workflow, and they have more support from others in the field. There's another reason which I found in my research, which was a cultural barrier by both Westerners and those from Japan to look down upon watching cartoons once you reach adulthood. Cartoons are looked down upon as something which only children will watch. And this kind of prevents people from watching animated co content in general. Moreover, anime is often aired at midnight in Japan, from what my research tells me, which means that they often struggle to get an audience. Now, I haven't really touched on manga much, and although I'd say manga is still niche, it is less niche in Japan because it is less expensive and more accessible. You know, maybe in 2017, I can turn back and look at this video and say I was completely wrong. And I hope I really can. Maybe at that time, the anime, anime will become an industry rivaling Hollywood with big name producers and actors buying for roles as much as they do for Hollywood. But until then, anime is just a niche hobby which you and me can enjoy. Thank you, hope you enjoyed this analysis. Anime Nian out.